Speaker Boehner today made it clear that if the Senate does pass a gun control bill, he expects to send it to the House Judiciary for an open hearing. Joining us now, Congressman Randy Forbes of Virginia, a member of the House Judiciary Committee, a member of the Armed Services Committee as well. And Congressman, good to have you with us. I, I want to, if I may, to turn to what we just have received word. Uh, this just in, I'd like to get your reaction. We've received word really? that Congressman Doug Lamborn of Colorado inadvertently revealed classified information today that the Defense Intelligence Agency now believes North Korea is capable of delivering a nuclear weapon on a ballistic missile. Now that memo had been classified. The congressman was not responsible. Someone at the Pentagon mistakenly marked it as unclassified. But importantly here tonight, what is your reaction to this revelation from uh, the Defense Intelligence Agency? Well, Lou, as you know, I chair the Sea Power Subcommittee for the Armed Services Committee, so I have access to that classified information, and I can't even confirm or deny something that's been put out once it's classified. What I can tell you, though, is we're very, very concerned about the weapons that uh, North Korea has. One of the things that we've been saying for weeks now is we shouldn't take the situation in North Korea as lightly as some people are taking. It's a very, very serious situation. We're taking it very seriously. I'd like uh, you, uh, as well as the audience of the broadcast tonight, to hear what the president had to say for the first time speaking on, uh, on North Korea uh, since uh, uh, Kim Jong-un began his bellicose assault on the United States and South Korea. Now's the time for uh, North Korea to uh, end uh, the uh, kind of belligerent uh, uh, approach that uh, they've been taking uh, and uh, to try to lower temperatures. Nobody wants to see a conflict on the Korean Peninsula. Uh, but it's important for North Korea, like every other country in the world, uh, to observe uh, the basic rules and norms uh, that uh, are set forth, including uh, a wide variety of UN resolutions that have passed. Congressman, uh, your reaction to the President's uh, statement? Well, Lou, two things. First of all, I think what we're seeing now is what you and I have chatted about before. What we're seeing with North Korea is perhaps looking through a window of what we're going to see over the next decade. It's not just going to be North Korea. It's going to be Iran and other nations that are going to have huge weapons that can deliver a lot of damage in a short period of time. We've got to be very careful about that. And what's so ironic about of this, Lou, is that this administration has presided over all of these cuts to our national security. In fact, the irony is in one single year this year, we'll have the greatest cut to national security we've had since the Korean War. And that's something that American people ought to be very, very concerned about. And uh, it, it's important to point out that the Republican budget uh, uh, for 2014 uh, calls for just about a half trillion dollars uh, in additional spending for defense over the course of the next decade. I, I want to turn, if I may, to the gun control today, Congressman. Mm -hmm. uh, the Senate clearing uh, the Toomey uh, uh, Mansion bill for debate, background checks being extended. Uh, is this where the Senate is headed to passage of that legislation, perhaps others in the form of amendments to it? Well, Lou, I don't think so. I don't. I, we still don't know who's going to vote against this. Remember, you got bipartisan support with Senator Toomey, but you also have bipartisan opposition to this bill. We'll see how that plays out, but it's got to come over to the House. I can tell you, as a member of the Judiciary Committee, we'll give all of these bills a full hearing, but we're not going to just pass a piece of legislation to say we passed it. And if you look at the legislation they're talking about, Lou, it would have done nothing at all in the Sandy Hook situation because this individual stole the gun from a family member. Member, this wouldn't reach out and cover that at all. And importantly, that person, Adam Lanza, he was seriously mentally ill, uh, and none of the bills, none of the legislation goes to the issue of those who have committed these heinous crimes over the course uh, of the last six events. All of them were mentally Luke, you're exactly ill, disturbed people. That's exactly right. And one of the things you have to realize also, Lou, which I know you do, is it's not just who uh, has to get access to the database, but it's what's actually in the database. And these databases has, have been woefully lacking because many states haven't contributed to that. The Republican House last year actually doubled the proposals the president had. He had only wanted $5 million. We put $12 million to make sure we were getting a truer picture of these people who had mental illnesses and had committed crimes so that we could protect 
protect the public from them getting access to these guns. I want to touch upon one thing as we conclude here, if, if I may, and that is also immigration reform, uh, so-called. Uh, the New York Times saying that the Gang of Eight bill, referring to the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the uh, the United States Senate Gang of Eight, uh, I know you all have a Gang of Eight as well, but far more discreet about it, doesn't impose any specific measurements of border security. Uh, it, it's got to be disturbing to you, uh, it, it, and I would think to most Americans, that at this point, with the president urging immediate passage of everything, as he always does, that there can't even be an agreement about the definition of two words, border security. Uh, that's astonishing. Well, well, Lou, it's even more astonishing that all the stuff is being done behind closed doors. You know, the American public is just sick of these smoke-filled rooms where you get five, eight, six people who think they can go in and make a deal um, behind closed doors and tell the American people what the answer is going to be. This ought to be debated out in the public. We ought to have the public scrutinize it. But the other thing we've got to answer is two questions. One, what are we going to do about border security? But secondly, Lou, are we going to redraft this legislation every five or ten years? Because you know, however good the legislation is there are going to be people that break it and we're going to be back in this situation in five to ten years from now. Congressman, as always, good to talk with you. Thanks for being Great with us. Great to talk with you, Luke. Thank Congressman you. Congressman Randy Forbes, we're going to have much more on the gun control debate, the North Korean threat, and the future of immigration legislation in tonight's broadcast. Bubba